let me tell you this. Buying jewelry is such a very, it's a scary process. I, you know, I never liked jewelry. I always told y'all like cars and houses. You can't fake it. Yeah, you, you could probably rent a house and flex with it. But you know what I mean? Like, I guarantee the people, yo, I heard, like, I won't say what rapper it is, but it's a rapper who, let me just say, he sold over 200,000 once. I, I, I'll just leave it at that. I heard when I showed off my house, they were calling around and be like, yo, because they they were trying to like, yo, y'all other blog niggas need to expose him because he's lying. So anyway, you know, I bought my house, cash, all that shit, posted it, blah, blah. And the reason why I like houses is because if you were renting it, like a lot of stuff is public records. And if you bought it, like it's public records too. At the end of the day, um, you know, I never liked jewelry. I'm going to tell you why. Because I have an untrained eye for jewelry. I can't tell what diamond's real and fake. I bought a bunch of a bunch of jewelry for like $100,000. And to keep it real, I've seen fake shit. And, and I don't know what test to do other than the real diamond tester. But like to the naked eye, sometimes they both look like they're hitting. I've seen a nigga with a fake shit. Then I got the real shit. I'm like, they look like they're hitting. So I'm like, what did I pay for? But that's the reality of it. That's why I like houses, actual real estate. Um, and also even with cars, you know, there is some cap with that because a lot of people rent, but this is why I remember when little baby back in the day was posting pink slips. I'm like, yo, shit, I got the title to all my cars except one, which I do lease. I'll be honest. Um, and that means something. I hate jewelry, jewelry. You never know. Number one, first of all, most of these rappers don't even pay for their jewelry cash. Rappers get jewelry on face value, right? You show up to a jewel, especially when you hot. You see these rappers with jewelry, uh, jewelry, they're not paying for it out of pocket. Usually what happens is a jeweler be like, yo, you going to post a video, post a video, just shout me out, give me $5,000. Like, say this shit costs allegedly, they're going to tell them it's 100000 but it really costs like 55000 really. It, it, the jewelry is all a scam. This is why I hate jewelry. And, I'm, and I'm, I'm getting to a point. I know you might be like, yo, act, what's the point? I'm getting to a point. I hate jewelry. I hate things like that because what is the inherent value of all these things? And what is the market value of all these things? Um, while in my... Um, ooh, ooh, while in my pursuit to... And if you don't know why I bought jewelry, I gamble a lot. I had some cash on hand. I didn't want to keep it. I'm like, yo, how can I get rid of it real quick? I wasn't going to buy another car or something like that. So I said, yo, let me just like, yo, I'll be in Miami a lot. Let me just get a Cuban, like some bracelets, some shit like that, right? Okay. By the way, I'm, you know, I'm always being 100% honest, right? So I'm going to a few places. I'm checking out jewelry. Now, and this is why it, I'm going to roll into an AB story. So yeah, drill out if you want to cut it up in two or, or, or just keep it as one. But I'm going to buy jewelry. And I ended up spending 100000 on jewelry. I did. But even then, I didn't have a diamond tester. I don't know. Like I was just like, I guess everybody recommends this guy. Like, I'm guessing he got the real shit. You know what I mean? And he's like, show me the stuff. It, of course, looks good. And then I'm asking my guy who got jewelry in this and third. I was with Fresh and a few. So everybody was like, no, no, no. That's, you're getting a deal because I tried to talk him down. And I'm like, okay. Bought it. Gave him cash. Fucking... <laughs> nigga got a money counter <laughs> Nigga counted out all that money that I was just looking at I'm like okay I guess I don't have that money anymore But I got these pieces of jewelry Never liked jewelry Right Cool Um, The reason why I say that is because Even me And I've said it I'm, I'm mad open with y'all So I've told y'all how much I've paid for jewelry I've gone around other people I tell the same stories I tell y'all And then someone would be like Damn how much he hit you for that and I'll tell them a price and be like, damn, that nigga could have, he could have charged you 10000 less. I hate that. I hate when the price of something all matters how much somebody fucks with you. Because there's a real raw price of shit, and then there's like inflated price of whatever the case is. So I'm like, what? I got overcharged? I thought I was getting a deal. Anyway, I say all this to say this. While I was looking for jewelry... A nigga, because I walk into one place and they're like, oh, shit. 
like, and by the way, I guess they, they clearly knew a lot about me, right? They're in hip hop. They're like, oh shit, academic, you probably got mad shit. I said, nah, I never bought jewelry before. I said, I'm not really a jewelry guy. You know, I got some nice cars though. And I do got like, you know, I got a pretty good house. But I don't like jewelry, but I'm gonna try getting jewelry this time around. They pull out a Richard Milley. They said, bro, if I, you probably gonna get Cubans, you probably gonna get this, but you need a Richard Milley. And I said to them, I said, I said, I don't like those watches. I just can't understand why. And, and, I, and I'm again, I'm, I'm I'm ignorant. I'm I'm trying to give y'all my own. I'm trying to give y'all my own, like, you know, experiences. So I'm like, yo, I'm ignorant. I'm like, yo, I don't like those watches. You know, I don't like them because Meek Mill rapped about Richard Milley costs a Lambo. So I'm thinking every time I see a watch like that, it's probably at least a quarter million dollars or more. I don't think a watch costs a quarter million dollars. I don't. Now, diamonds, if you actually take the actual diamonds, they mean something. They matter. They, there is an actual value. But this watch, why does it cost a quarter million dollars? Is it just for status? Is it like some type of industry type of whatever? And um, <clears throat> the person said to me, nah, this one don't cost a quarter million. He said, yo, I'm going to tell you a secret. You can't tell nobody though. And of course I'm telling people, but I ain't going to tell where it is, who it is, what it is. They said to me, they said, yo, this one right here, it's fake. I said, what? Now, I was like, they're like, yo, listen, pretty much you would have to basically send it to Richard Milley for them to detect it as fake. But here's the thing. This is, they were trying to get me. They weren't really, I won't, I, I, won't, I won't, even though maybe they'll see it and, and they'll be like, yo, oh, act, you talking about us? Nobody else will probably know who I'm talking about. Um, it, it, it's, it's it's some off-brand jeweler. Um, it's not who I got the chain from. No, it's, it's somebody else, right? I didn't get them from them. The person said to me, they said, well, act. Trust me, niggas know you got money, bro. You don't even need to buy the real shit for them to think you got the real shit. And I was like, that makes sense. But, but I also thought about like, well, I'm getting real jewelry, though. Because if you ever watch any of them like little act videos, like you know, even uh, the last one we did with Hype Beast, nigga, it's fake jewelry in, in there. Like, nigga, I don't got no fucking Cuban, at least at that time, right? So I'm like, well, okay, that makes sense. But the person said, yo, check it out. It's the fake watch, but it's real diamonds. I'm like, okay, so what does that mean? So they said, listen. The diamonds, they it was flossed out with diamonds. See, yo, the diamonds come out to be like 50 grand. Essentially, they're telling me the watch is like worthless. This shit is 60,000. You could get this and you could get a Richard Milley and everybody think you got a 300,000 or $400,000 watch. And I looked at that and I said, damn. And I rethought even me getting jewelry because I'm like, yo, this is such a vain process. Imagine copying something fake to put real diamonds on it. So you're putting worth on something that doesn't have any worth just to flex or to show people that you might have an inflated worth. So really you put 50,000, it's probably like 45 or 30,000 dollars worth of diamonds, right? But he's going to gas it up because he wants me to pay with the extra, right? So I pay the extra and it's have paid 50, 60,000 dollars. When I post it on the gram, niggas gonna look at the watch and be like, oh shit, act with a $400,000 watch. The watch is worthless. I looked at that and I said, damn. It made me almost regret even getting jewelry in the first place. This whole shit, it's a scam. It's a sham. And I looked at it and I said, damn. I give the guy credit because it's not like he was trying to sell me on, oh, this Richard Milley is real. He said, no, it's fake. The diamond's real though. Anyway, I say all that to say, and this is our first topic, honestly. Uh, um, we're going to get to the Jordan Poole shit. We're going to get to a bunch of stuff. But there is a topic. It's on TMZ. Um, and it is the topic of Antonio Brown, somebody who I'm really cool with. Antonio Brown 
allegedly he sold one of his Richard Millies. And by the way, chat, after I'm done telling y'all everything, everything I'm going to tell you, I might, you know what I mean? This is why, like, I'm not probably, I don't get invited to. You, you ever hear when some of these dumbass things be like, yo, you're just mad that you don't get invited to the table. Brother, even if I got invited to the table, I'm about to snitch. On, well, not snitch, but I'm about to tell the fans what happened. Like, there's no there's no secrecy with me. I'm going to keep it 100 with you. Anyway, um, <clears throat> and, and I, I say that because I went to a, a Richard Millie party. I got to tell you that story, too. Me and French, we, me and French, French has been really good to me. Like, you know what I mean? Um, shit, when I did my first interview with him, like, he, he, he was trying to give an experience, like, that could really, you know, kind of see how he lives. And third, anyway, I'm back, I'm, I was in Miami. I forgot what weekend it was. He was like, yo, act, pull up with me to this Richard Milley party. Like, he was trying to get me to go to some Drake party. Remember, I've never seen Drake outside of concert. Like, we've talked, but I've never seen him, like, just, like, kicking and dapping him up with him. French got all the connects. And French, one of them dudes, would be like, yo, if you fuck with me, like, I'll bring around shit. French brought me to a Richard Milley party, the, an actual Richard Milley party. Richard Milley was there. <laughs> I didn't even know there was a guy. Like, the guy, like, I shook the nigga's hand. I was like, what the fuck? I felt so broken that party. I saw T.I. T.I. was performing. T.I. performed. Uh, Tiny was there Like I seen everybody It was one of the craziest parties That's when I realized like, There's levels to this, this shit let, let me just talk about Richard Milley party for, for a second I pull up um, I'm with French I had security with me So because it was a hot weekend In Miami A lot of people were around I had security with me However the Richard Milley party just at It's a basically a house party At some like probably 50 million dollar mansion I don't know if he owns it or whatever. I'm talking about Richard Milley. Essentially, French looks at me because I got I got two regular people with me and Fresh. By the way, I think Fresh may have put that up on Instagram. So I got like three people with me and I got security. Essentially, my security couldn't go in. I don't even think French's security went in. So it was one of those situations where they just told you like, yo, bro. Ain't nobody about to be, like, once we pass this checkpoint, nobody about to be acting up. And if they do act up, niggas going to get handled. Just because there's a lot of A-plus celebrities there. We walk in, and I'm walking in with French. I'm a little bit, I ain't going to lie. I'm like, oh, shit, this actually feels like I'm in the Hollywood life. Okay, I'm walking into this shit. I'm seeing these Richard Millie fucking, like, like, they had ice sculptures. They had fucking projections into random pools. We're walking through kind of like also a little house, but it's like a little hallway a little bit. Shit looks crazy. I don't know nobody. This is like a party where, like, you you have to be somebody to be at. I was probably the most nobody person there. That's when I met Serena Williams. Go back to my feed when I post a picture with Serena Williams. Nigga, I couldn't believe. I was like, who the fuck is that? And they were like, no, nigga, that's Serena Williams. That's when I met Larsa Pippen. The same party I was I was in, Leonardo DiCaprio. This is how I'm telling you, like Hollywood and the life of the really rich. Nigga, I'm a broke nigga who just seen through the curtains. So I'll be snitching and telling y'all. But like, there's another fucking level. Leonardo DiCaprio and, and a few other people, I forgot the names, they pulled up to the party, but not like us. We pulled up in SUVs, fresh drove is like Lambo, but yeah, that's peasant shit. They pulled up in a yacht. Like, yes, it, it's a waterfront property in Miami. It's That's why it's cost $50 million. You pull up in a yacht. So you get off the yacht and you're in the house or you're at the property. They were there. They decided to go to the club and they took a bunch of women from the from, It wasn't a club. It was like, it's really like, it's probably models and all that. So they probably like, all right, y'all come. We're all going here. And they went to somewhere else. So Leonardo DiCaprio and a couple, I don't know if Diddy was there, but like, by the way, this was close to Star Island. If you don't know, um, Diddy owns a property in Star Island. This is like expensive, expensive shit. If you, it, it, I could Google some of this shit for y'all. For y'all, if y'all, I'm trying to bring y'all into understanding what's going on, right? Star Island, Diddy lives lives over here. Okay, so Star Island, um, Florida. By the way. 
watch me try to get, go to one of these shits later in the future and be like, yo, yo, bro, you can't come through, man. You go online and you, you be just spilling all the beans. Fuck that nigga. <laughs> you get what I mean? Like, they probably be like, yo, reject me off of that shit. So Star Island, let me just go to Zillow, my nigga. <laughs> Zillow.com. Actually, let me not go to Zillow because I don't want none of my shit pop up. Uh, anyway, Star Island is is a pretty much a man-made waterfront island that is connected to Miami. Okay, and let me click on this right here. Basically, like right, like so. This property you're looking at right here. Hopefully, I can see. Let me see. This property right here is cut like bang, bang. So there's a road that goes in between and everybody has a waterfront. So it's it's you going through here, you drive through one pretty much one road and you could come back out the same road, but other than that you're going to a house. All these properties are at least, when I mean at least at least 30 million dollars. Not much land, but you get to be almost just kind of I don't know if it's an ocean, but like you're kind of like in the ocean. You you have a oceanfront property that's very private and secluded. I believe also when you go here, because the place we went, uh, it might have been this shit right here, the Venetian. I, I'm, I'm over here snitching like a motherfucker, right? Yo, I'm definitely never getting invited to none of this shit again. <laughs> I'll be just giving it up. <laughs> when you go through, like, nigga, you can't just drive through like you about to just, like, nigga, there's a fucking gate right here. So, like, nigga, you got to turn the fuck back around, like, right here. There's going to be somebody be like, yo, what are you here for? Obviously, if you live there, you probably got some type of key card or whatever. I don't know how that works. But if you're like an Uber or something like that, you got to like tell where you're going, blah, blah. But it's, it's private. That's what I'm trying to say. Super expensive, right? Cool. So essentially, everybody here, and you'll see these little things like, I'm trying to make sure I kind of get it. Like right here, so like yacht, like, hold on, let me see. Sorry. Right here, everybody's house, even this house, this right here is a dock for a yacht. This right here, dock for a yacht. Houses are phenomenal. I'm telling you. I mean, let me try to see if I'm going to go to Zillow, low key. But but I don't want to show you too much. Star Island. I'm going to see if I could find. This. Let's see. I just want to show you how the prices. For anybody else watching this. Who probably don't get why I go into these details. Listen, man, I try to bring my I try to bring my family along with me, okay? I'm sorry. I am sorry, okay? Anyway, I got some shit for y'all. I got some shit for y'all. Cool. So say this house, $77 million. They're not gonna give out the address because they don't want weirdos to stalk it. You get 27, you you get 27, um, no, 23,000 square feet of living, 10 bedrooms, 12 bathrooms. You clearly have a dock right here, right? You have a dock right here. Inside, I mean, it looks good, but for $77 million, like, holy shit, man. I ain't going to lie to you, nigga. Like, this is not $77 million, but, it's, but, but let me tell you about real estate. It's all about location, 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 right? By the way, I've strayed off the point that I wanted to get to. I wanted to talk about Richard Milley. We're going to talk about it. And we're going to talk about the main topic, which is Antonio Brown with some Richard Militia. We're going to get to it. But I'd like to give you all my experiences because I got nobody else to share, share it with because I only have broke friends. And every time I, I get brought to shit like this, I'm like, oh, my God, like niggas would never believe me. You know what I mean? OK, cool. So this is seventy seven million dollars. OK, like literally seventy seven million dollars, whatever. Cool. Um. Yeah. And this is how it looks. Right. So this is Star Island. Cool. Anyway, went to the shit. Um, I don't want to like you know also tell on my guys. Yo, I remember. Nah, I, I don't think this is telling though. I don't think this is telling. I think he would tell the same story. My man French was like, "Yo, act." He was like, "Yo," he said. The last time I went to a Richard Milley party, Richard Milley just gave me a Richard Milley. Now think about this. This is supposedly if you look at Richard Milley watches, it's supposed to be like. About like quarter million dollars. Imagine going to a party and as a gift, a nigga just gives you a quarter million dollar watch. So we're there, you know what I mean? French is a networker. French is, you know what I mean? He know everybody there. Like that's when we see Larson Pippen. Nigga, I see Larson Pippen walking over. I'm like, ain't that Scotty's ex-wife? Ain't ain't that the chick future been? Randomly, because I know I, I talked about her online. I talked about her online one time. Nigga, she walked up 
Like, because French salutes my nigga French. French is my nigga. That's why I know sometimes y'all be getting mad at French. I can't get mad at French. I ain't no fake nigga, bro. Like, when a nigga treat me good, I'm going to treat him good, too. French introduced me to all these people. When he introduced me to Larsa Pippen, I'm like, fuck. Does she remember or has she ever looked on YouTube about what people say about her? Because I was violating one time. She was mad nice. She was like, oh, hey, blah, blah. And I remember she told me, she was like, yo, we have a yacht party tomorrow. Maybe she thought I was just like one of them celebrities. Like, I'm like, I'm like, Larsa, you invited me to a yacht party? You know, <laughs> you know, a dirty nigga like me from the Broadway. No, I'm playing. <laughs> so anyway, like she was mad nice. I'm like, oh, shit. You know what I mean? So she's over there. I'm looking. I'm looking over. She, he was like, yo. You know who that is? I'm looking. I see a chick. She got a little donk on her. I'm like, oh, okay, okay. So, yo, nah, that's Serena Williams. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, Serena just randomly there, just like dancing. It was everybody in the world, bro. That's why I keep telling y'all. I call these Illuminati parties because I've never gone to a party and see mad, like, important people. Everybody was there. We go by the stage that was trying to get French to perform. French, you know, like, French a little finesse. So, French looking at him like, yo, yo, I perform if y'all give me a give me one of them Richard Millie's or, or, or like, you know, we could talk about some other shit, but French was not about to just grace the stage just out of fun. I see T.I., T.I.'s on stage, Tiny and them over there. I'm like, oh, shit, this is great. And by the way, this is not even, we're not talking about thousands of people. It was probably max 110 or 20 people. It's a backyard. It's a So T.I. is performing in a backyard. It's not like some big, it's a backyard, my nigga. Like, let me, let me click back on this. Obviously, it would be bigger than this backyard, but, like, it's a backyard, my nigga. It's, like, from here to here, you know what I mean, with, a, with slightly a little bit depth. Um, apparently, there was a pool. They covered over the pool that you could walk on the spot where the pool was at. So they covered it, and they put some other shit on it. Because I remember I'm standing on shit. I was like, damn, like, oh, this is just a backyard. They were like, no, we're standing on the pool. But the company, they got to, like, do whatever. They built over the pool. I'm like, damn, this is some rich nigga shit. Now, granted, by the way, I know I'm going to sound like a groupie just because I'm just not that rich, my nigga. Like, this is like a different level of richness, right? Cool. Um, Yeah. So the whole point was this was a Richard Milley party. By the way, apparently, if you weren't vouched for, like, you know, obviously I got vouched for, you needed a Richard Milley to join or to enter the party. Also, like, what I was told is that Richard Milley is like, re they're really skeptical of motherfuckers who do fakes they don't fuck with fakes period so anyway crazy experience i just couldn't believe i was at a party that leonardo dicaprio was, <laughs> was at and serena williams this shit was just blowing my mind i just couldn't even process it anyway i say all that to say let's go to this because um i'm broke i don't know like i'd buy a car for three hundred thousand. a watch fuck no nigga antonio brown a man is suing him. It says, you ripped me off of a fake Richard Milley watch. Now, this is why I don't buy jewelry. That's why I told y'all that stories before. Because, bro, you don't know what you're really buying when you buy it. You get what I mean? Remember I told you about that jeweler who showed me showed me the, the Richard Milley? He said, oh, the Richard Milley's fake, but the diamonds are real. And I'm like, wait, what the but it's all kind of for a show.